Hi everyone. I'm going to talk about a healthy body fat percentage. What is a healthy body composition? What should your body fat percentage be? Now it really varies. Um, women uh, are higher than men in general. Uh, um, a higher percentage of fat for women is healthier than um, a higher uh, fat content for men. So I'm going to go over some of those percentages. But first, I want to talk about what mine is. And you guys can all see me. You can see on my channels, um, a lot of the shorts I do, you can see most of me. Um, I'm I'm a little, maybe a little over 5'9", five 5'9", nine, five nine maybe. Who knows now? I haven't checked that exactly. But I'm going to talk about what I was 10 years ago. You can see the profile picture of me. That was back in, oh, I was 24 years old. My body composition right there was, a, I weighed about 180 pounds and I was about 5%. So I didn't have a lot of fat on my body, maybe nine, 10 pounds. Now when, and I've always worked out. Now, 10 years ago, I've actually made improvements in the last 10 years. So first, I want to say most people always think they're lower than they really are. They may say, well, I'm 12% where you're really 18. That's very common. It's common for people to be 18% body fat and think they're 12%. Um, you know, everyone likes to kind of think that they're leaner than they really are. So now I'm, I'm in my 60s now, but you go back um, again and you can see what I look like if you go look at some of my short videos and so on um, and some of my different workout videos. Ten years ago, I was about 170 pounds and I had my body composition checked um, about five times, six times, and I averaged about 15.5%. My lean body mass was 144. My my body fat uh, pounds, the, the weight that I had in body fat was 26. That's about 10 years ago, about age 52. So now I've actually put on um, over, a little over five pounds of lean body mass, really emphasizing my diet and training hard. Now, it's not what I was when I was 24. It's not even close because now I'm about 13.7% body fat, which um, is really good for an old guy. Well, it's, it's pretty good for anybody, uh, especially these days. I mean, you, you see people, and I mean, to get into what is obese, what's normal, what's athletic, but to, to give you an idea, 13.7% would fall into... Uh, for a man would fall into an athletic physique. An athletic physique would be anywhere from 14 to 20%. And you can look at these. They're going to vary on, on different sites. But 14 to 20% is fit, athletic looking. So uh, I'm at 13.7. Um, now, o obese for a man is over... Um, is over 32%. Fitness means you're to be fit, you're at 21 to 24% means you're kind of fit, but I wouldn't want to be, I wouldn't want to be that or even over. So no matter what your age is, I think that a good goal is to get under 20%. It can be done, but you get under 20%, that's pretty good. Now, if you're in your 20s, you know, you might want to set a goal of getting under 14 or 15 percent and you're going to be pretty healthy. Now, uh, 32 percent and over, you're obese. So you don't want to be there. But you can see through my whole life of exercising and working out, I've actually made pretty good gains in 10 years from the age of 52 on into the next 10 years into my 60s, five pounds of lean tissue, over five pounds of lean tissue is pretty good and dropped almost 
body fat. So my, um, my body fat was 26 pounds. Now it's 23.7. I'm heavier. I weigh 173. That's three pounds heavier. Um, and that's all uh, lean body mass, muscle. But I've also lost some body fat. So the difference is 5.3 pounds of lean body mass. I'm, I have more lean body mass now in my 60s than I did in my 50s. So that's pretty good. But, you know, I eat really strict and I, I try to do everything right. But I wanted to do this video because I want you guys to have an idea of, okay, you can look at me and you can think, okay, I'm fit or not. If you think I'm fat, then you want to get your body composition much more improved than where I am. You want to get it under 12 if you think I'm fat. If you think that I'm respectable, well, I'm 13.7% body fat right now. Um, personally, I think a man um, can be up to 18% and look pretty good. Um, where you can see some muscle and, you know, you're not fat, uh, but the whole uh, over 32% and that's not good. Um, you're uh, obese. Now for women, um, you know what? That 32% is for women. That's obese if you're a woman over 32%. I, I'm sorry. Um, if you're over 32% and you're a man, you're also obese. But a woman would be over 32%, you're obese. For a man, if you're over 25%, you're obese, according to what I'm looking at on, on Healthline. Now, um, a woman, what looks good for a woman? Well, ath athletes are 14 to 20. 14% is probably a little too low for the average woman, but 20% uh, is really good. 18, 20% for a woman, that's pretty lean. You're going to see a lot of muscle on a woman that has 18 to 20% body fat. Acceptable is 25 to 32 for a woman. Um, fitness, a fit person, a fit woman, 21 to 24%. And that's probably someone who has an appealing look to their body at 21 to 24% for a woman um, of any age. So that kind of gives you an idea of what, if you compare it to me, what different uh, body compositions would be if you related it to you. And, and maybe hopefully that will help you set your goals on what you want your body composition to be. Um, for a man, fit is... 15%, in my opinion, you're, you're fit. If you can bring it down, if you're higher than 15% and you can bring it down to 15%, that's pretty good. Um, for a woman, if you can get down to 20%, 22%, that's pretty good. That's also very good. Now, how did I get my body, real quick before I go, how did I get my body composition checked? Um, at one of our clubs, we have a scanner. Um, so you stand on it and you spin and it basically scans your body. It takes a picture of all of it. And that's how I got my body composition checked. And it tells you what your measurements are. Um, and that's helpful because you want to know, okay, my biceps are getting bigger. My thighs are getting bigger. My waist is getting smaller. So knowing those measurements also helps. And that's what our body scanner at uh, one of our clubs does. It's at we just got it maybe a week ago. We're kind of playing with it right now and it's pretty cool. You know, it talks to you and says, hold your arms steady and don't move as you spin around and it takes a picture of your whole body. So I hope that helps you identify where you want to set your goals for your body composition.